Dear students of class 5A, today in my GK class, I have decided to teach some points, some knowledge which is required to you. And this knowledge is uh, this knowledge is required. Why? Because of the knowledge for our history. What happened to the rulers, and what happened to us during past age and during modern age? This is the matter of discussion, and you have to learn it. This kind of unknown things. That's why today I have decided to teach certain points of history, and uh, the names of the rulers and uh, the dynasty they ru- uh, they belonged. this type of things today i shall discuss now first question you please uh, be with me uh, be with me with uh, be with me with uh, class work copies and uh, the names which i am writing in the board please take it down in your class work copies first one i am writing about one ruler akbar who was akbar you know akbar was who was akbar who was akbar akbar was akbar was a mughal ruler akbar was a great mughal ruler akbar was a great mughal ruler akbar was a great mughal ruler the next one why was he great today online class online live class i asked this question why was akbar known as akbar the great but i ask one boy who is very uh, you know very weak in gk and simple question can't answer so i had to answer the question that's why for the convenience of all of you i am discussing in detail about it why was he great akbar as i told you was a great ruler of india now why was he great why was he great he introduced the policy of brotherhood the policy of brotherhood policy of brotherhood and promoted national integrity national integrity with the help of with the help of all people of different communities this is the first and foremost point and another one he adopted a policy of religious tolerance he adopted a policy of religious tolerance that's why he was akbar was great akbar 
was known as or still today akbar's name is relevant akbar is great akbar the great the next question next question sher shah suri who is sher shah suri sher shah established shur dynasty shur dynasty at delhi by defeating shur dynasty sersa established shur dynasty shur dynasty in delhi by defeating humayun sersa established shur dynasty in delhi by defeating humayun now question is why was he famous why was he famous why was he famous he was famous he was famous for he was famous for his works he was famous for his works as he did it for the welfare of the people of all communities he was famous for his works as he did it for the welfare of the people of all communities that's why he is famous uh, next question from sir sachuri give two examples give two examples give not examples give to achievements of sersa give to achievements of sersa point number 1 he constructed the he constructed the gt road and full form of gt road you know grand trunk road he constructed the gt road grand trunk road and second one he marked the beginning of a good land revenue system he marked the beginning of a good land revenue system so these are the two achievements of sir sachuri and he also 
was able to be a popular ruler of India, says Sasuri. The next one. <coughs> Prithviraj Chauhan. Who is Prithviraj Chauhan? Prithviraj Chauhan was a ruler of Delhi. He was a ruler of Delhi. Okay, ruler of Delhi, ruler of India. Now, why was he famous? Why was he famous? Prithira Chauhan was a Rajput ruler of Delhi or India. Now why was he famous? He fought against he fought against a Muslim ruler Muhammad Ghori Muhammad Ghori and defeated him in the first battle of Tarain. Prithirachon, who was, why was he famous? He was famous. Now questions answer. He fought against a Muslim ruler, Muhammad Ghori, and defeated him in the first battle of Taraim. Next one. What was what was his drawback? What was his uh, no? Why? Why was he called? Why was he called? Immature diplomat. Why was he called immature diplomat? He was called immature diplomat because he defeated Muhammad Ghori. He defeated Muhammad Ghori, but released soon. He defeated Muhammad Ghori. He defeated Muhammad Ghori, comma, arrested him, but released very soon. He defeated Muhammad Ghori, arrested him, but released very soon. It resulted His defeat, it resulted his defeat against Muhammad Ghori. It resulted, it resulted in his defeat 
against Mohammad Ghori next year. It resulted in his defeat against Mohammad Ghori next year. And ultimately, Mohammad Ghori, Mohammad Ghori caught him, Mohammad Ghori caught him, but did not release like him. But what had he done? How was he treated? Mohammad Ghori killed Prithira Chauhan. Muhammad Ghori killed Prithira Chauhan. Muhammad Ghori was a good strategist. He realized that if once Prithira Chauhan was released, Prithira Chauhan would take revenge and ultimately he would be defeated by him. That's why he did not commit that kind of technical mistake. What once Prithira Chauhan had done? The next question, next one. Emperor Ashoka. No. Ashok. Emperor Ashoka. Ashok. Who was he? He was A great Mauryan ruler. He was a great Mauryan ruler. Next one. Why was he? Famous. Why was he famous? He was a, he was a violent ruler. He was a violent ruler. But turned himself to be a non-violent ruler. He was, why was he famous? He was a violent ruler, but turned himself to be a non-violent ruler. Example, the Battle of Kalinga. The Battle of Kalinga, it was fought between Emperor Ashoka and the rulers of Kalinga. Since Kalinga was a place, there was a place of a huge, you know, uh, Kalinga was a place of huge natural resources, huge revenues. That's why Ashoka, and not only that, Kalinga's uh, rulers, uh, they were very powerful, very strong. And at any time, they are, uh, the emperor of the Mauryans, emperor of the Mauryans under Ashoka might be attacked because they, they were targeting and uh, uh, they are targeting the uh, targeting Mauryan Empire to be attacked, but the Mauryan rulers they did not take any initiative, uh, thinking that they might be uh, more powerful than them. But Ashoka did not care for it. He decided to uh, de he decided to defeat the Kalinga the Kalingan uh, king, and ultimately he declared war against the Kalinga and ultimately the Kalingan king was defeated at the hands of Ashoka and millions of people died and rest of them who were still who were still alive they had 
no you know they had no uh, string to work uh, they almost all had become wounded but ashoka and and some and rest of them who were uh, who were uh, uh, st- still physically fit ashoka arrested them there was no place in his uh, jail as all those almost all almost all uh, you know enemies or soldiers who fought against him in the kalinga uh, kalinga war they all were arrested but ultimately ashoka by uh, <coughs> by uh, you know by uh, looking the scene looking at the dead bodies of the soldiers of kalinga kalinga kingdom ashoka felt very much sorry and change his policy he changed his war policy and ultimately ultimately made himself a non violent ruler adapted the policy of uh, you know uh, buddh adapted for the policy of buddhist uh, texts buddhist concepts buddhist teachings buddhist uh, preachings and he uh, became a great great uh, great buddhists were buddha's followers and contributed his whole life the rest of his life for the dedication of buddha lord buddha's concept buddhism that's why ashoka as an emperor of india is a famous famous king famous famous one now another one porus who was porus now my up to this my dear students this time is over and next day i shall give you some homeworks you will prepare the homeworks which i already have given you all of you must prepare it and submit your copies thank you